Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another one of these Resaurus figures. I haven't reviewed one in a little while now, and that was because I only reviewed the four predators that were out, the four theropods that were out with the group that I recently had purchased. Well, I guess it's not really so recent anymore, but a few months back I had purchased off of the Facebook Marketplace and acquired four of the rare Resaurus predators, which were the Deinonychus, the Velociraptor, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and a Giganotosaurus. Well, they actually have a few herbivores in the line as well, and this is their Triceratops. Unfortunately, I don't have the other ones that are in the line. I think they have a Styracosaurus, a Stegosaurus, and maybe a Protoceratops. I don't really recall. It's been a little while since I've looked them up, but I really hope to get a hold of those one day. But this is my Triceratops. This is from the Resaurus line, like I said. It's not in the best shape. It's definitely been used and abused over the years. This is another one that I actually purchased on the Facebook Marketplace. So, it's had its share of beatings, it seems, but regardless, it's still a wonderful looking figure, and I'm psyched to have one here in my collection, but also to review with you guys, so let's get a closer look at it right now. So, starting up here at the head sculpt, you can see that the overall skin texture of the head sculpt is actually really quite nicely done. Beautiful large scaling all over on the frill of the Triceratops, and you can see that the paintwork is really quite cool as well. You've got like shades of purple and black and you've got green and like a reddish brown type color so there is quite a bit of paint variation included and that paint variation also leads down here onto the face you've also got like a shade of brown there and then again some of the greens and like that reddish brown you've got some yellow here for the underside of the jaw you've also got paint variation up here on the actual beak of the triceratops and you can see that the beak here has some really nice detailing included as well there's some paint that's been chipped off of it unfortunately but they've also done like a nice blackish coloration just to give it some weathering same deal up here on the horns and you can see the horn sports some incredible detailing as well. These Resaurus figures were just jaw-droppingly gorgeous for their time. You can also see that there's actually some scars across the Triceratops' eyes, which clearly shows that this Triceratops has been attacked prior to this review by some sort of a predator at some kind, which is a really cool touch. I really love that. Such a very cool dose of realism on the figure. The eye is painted with a greenish color and it is given a nice black pupil. The jaw is actually articulated, which is one of the cool features of the Resaurus figures, is that they are all very articulated, kind of like the Beast of the Mesozoic before the Beast of the Mesozoic. The inside of the mouth looks pretty decent, but there's not too much going on when it comes to the detailing of the figure. You can see that the upper side of the mouth is a pinkish color, but as far as actual sculpt and detail, it's really kind of smooth, there's not much going on. You do have the tongue down here, which is also painted in that similar pinkish coloration. It looks pretty cool, but it is awesome in general to have an articulated jaw on the Triceratops, and I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look unnatural or anything when you actually open the mouth, so that's a plus as well. If you take a look at the opposing side of the head, we no longer have those scars on this side, so it's really cool to see that limited to one side. They've done a very good job in general, I think, on the realism of the figure and the overall sculpting of the skin texture and everything looks really really good on the head for sure. As we lead back here into the neck you can see lots of skin wrinkling, lots of skin folding along with some very fine scaling all over the figure. Really beautiful skin texture, even the back of the frill is quite highly detailed and also includes some really nice paintwork. You can see variations of like a brownish yellow and purple and black and everything all included back there. So they really did not skimp out on these figures at all when it came to sculpt or paint. As you lead back into the body, you can see lots and lots of skin wrinkling, skin folding going on. It really has that very large animal feel as far as the skin texture and the overall appearance of it. You've got a very nice shoulder blade protruding from the skin there. Nice osteoderms up here all over the body. As you lead down here into the front leg, you can really see some beautiful skin texture. You've got an elbow sculpted out back here really beautifully sculpted foot. There's like a grayish color there for the nails, but it's not too perfectly painted. It's a little sloppy, but not really that much, and I think it may just not be that noticeable due to the fact that there's just wear and tear on the figure. If you come back up into the stomach, look at how beautiful all the skin wrinkles and skin folds are all over the stomach region of this Triceratops. Really, really incredible work. Up here on the top, you have like an armored, almost a crocodilian type of an appearance to the way that the Skin texture looks a very cool look for a Triceratops. 
Once you get back here, you can make out the hip bone up there with again some scoots and everything up there on top. Nice creases in the skin and skin wrinkling as we lead down the thigh. You can get a sense of the muscle tone as well. And then we get down into the calf. You can definitely pick up on the calf muscle. Again, the creases in the skin look really good as you lead down into the foot. You can see the ankle bone there along with a really nicely sculpted foot. The nails look like they were probably painted pretty nicely at one time but now have a little bit of chipped paint to them. And then we come back up here into the tail and you can see again the really nice skin texture as we lead out the tail. The tail is nice and short and does sport the Resaurus name right there along with the date that this figure was made in 1997. And then you can see that the paint variation on it looks really good. Lots of different tones of color all over as I turn it. You can really get a sense of just how much wonderful paintwork is included. I don't really believe that the uh, sculpt is going to be too different on this side in comparison to what we saw on the opposing side because it's just like it's really in a uh, neutral position. It's up to you to pose the figure. But just taking a quick glance over, you can see some nice hanging skin here in the throat. And the overall skin texture and detailing looks great on this side as well, just like we saw on the opposing side. Like I said though, there's not really too much difference. For the most part, it looks just the same as it did over there. But that means that it looks awesome on both sides and even the underside as well. Really fantastic Triceratops figure. When it comes to articulation, you can see of course I stated that we do have the articulated jaw. We also have neck articulation and quite a bit of it, however, I don't know if it's always been kind of floppy because if I pick it up and just shake it, the head kind of goes all over the place. I didn't really see that with the theropods or anything. The necks were a little stiffer and a little easier to actually put into place, whereas mine, I can't really turn the head too well. I mean, it will stay, but it doesn't stay perfectly. Now, now it's actually starting to look good if I'm lifting the head up, but once the head's down here, it's really loose. I don't know, like I said, if they're all like that or if that might just be due to the person that owned it before me playing with it a bit too much and now has loosened the neck. We've got articulation at the base of the front leg and then in the elbow as well. We've also got articulation here for the thigh and the hip region and then in the knee. Really nice articulation and the tail is a bendable material. It doesn't stick or stay in position similar to what you saw on the theropods, but it does still articulate, just doesn't stay in place. As far as a size goes, from the beak to the tail, you're looking at about 10 and a quarter inches or about 26, almost 26 and a half centimeters. And for a height, about just under five inches. So I'd say about four and three quarter inches or about 12 centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the attack pack Colovasaurus and Robert Muldoon next to our Triceratops. Unfortunately, my Resaurus figures are now in storage, so I don't have them here to display with the Triceratops, but the Triceratops is definitely not in any way, shape, or form to scale with the other figures. I can tell you that straight away, the Rex itself was probably similar in size to the Papo Rex as far as the scale it would have been in and this Triceratops is quite obviously very large in comparison to that Rex. So as far as scale goes, that's out the window, but we can see that it is still regardless an absolutely awesome Triceratops figure with tons of articulation and some significant size. So this Resaurus Triceratops is really, really beautiful. I am a big fan of the Resaurus line. I think that all of the figures that I own as far as the resource line goes, they're all fantastic, really great overall. It's really sad that the figures had to come to an end so quickly as they only made, I think, like eight figures or maybe seven. I'm not entirely sure, but I know there weren't too many. We definitely didn't exceed 10 as far as this articulated dinosaur line goes. And that's really depressing because I think that the figures overall were fantastic, really beautiful. And if these were being produced today, I feel like they would be a huge hit when it comes to the dinosaur collecting community and would probably do better than when they were initially released in the 90s. I think that the sculpt of this Triceratops is incredibly well done. Really beautiful as far as all the very fine detailing goes, the really fine scaling all over the animal, lots of skin wrinkling and skin folding all over the place. Really beautiful touches of realism as well, like the scars across the eye of the Triceratops. Definitely a nice paint job as well with lots of different color tones, lots of very cool coloration on the Triceratops with like a purplish color and then you've got greens and 
reddish browns and lots and lots of color variation honestly and I think it all looks really cool on the figure and definitely somewhat natural. The application of the paint is also really beautifully done, lots of very fine transitioning between different colors, everything looks very natural, very realistic, nothing looks like it's paint on a figure. On this, it definitely looks like body color. The articulation as well is awesome. Really nice articulation on the Triceratops. It's all very smooth when it comes to the way it operates and allows for some very cool posability with your figure, which is always fun when it comes to a dinosaur figure, as we just don't get too many posable dinosaurs at all, but nowadays they're starting to make a comeback with figures and lines like the Beast of the Mesozoic and the Dell collectibles, but these ones here are from over 20 years ago, so that really shows just how incredibly impressive the resource line was when it was initially released. So if you want to pick this Triceratops up, your best bet is going to be eBay because unfortunately they're very scarce, very hard to find nowadays, but I still think you could get this Triceratops for around 50 bucks or so on eBay, something like that. So I will try my best to find a link on eBay to link you in the description. So make sure you check that description, pick up this very cool Triceratops if you are in fact interested. But before you do that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.